All right, well, I just tried to do a video and the sound recorded, but n nothing else. There was no picture to go with it. So I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown. Um, so the project where I'm gonna go over today is one I posted like last week, and they are these um, tea light candle holders using alcohol inks. And I like to layer different textures in there to keep them nice and organic. Um, so like this one here, you can see I use a variety of different textures. Um, and I've got another one here, kind of another group of colors. Uh, this one has some copper leaf with some silver metallic ink and then other um, inks on it as well. So the one I'm trying to do today, which I already started um, and it did not record, uh, just the sound, um, to go through the steps. So I'm just going to break that down for you real quick. So um, you're going to take your brush and I recommend, I like using a brush that's a little, like a brush I really don't care about. This is a little cheap boar hair brush. Um, that way I don't ruin it if I forget if I've got some adhesive in it. And um, it's easy if I need to kind of like tear or move some of the gold leafing. So I'm going to do the gold leafing first. And so for my adhesive, I'm going to use some Mod Podge. And I just put some here in a little lid for me to dip into. And I'm going to do that from the inside, starting kind of like down at the bottom. And I'm going to place that randomly around on the inside. Um, I was trying to get through it quickly, so I didn't give it absolute complete time to dry. This will still need to dry overnight. Um, but if you give it a little time um, for the glue to dry, it's always going to be better. So you can, I can show you here on some of these where, like, this is still cloudy, so that adhesive is not close to being dry. But, um, like, these here, you can see the the gold is a lot clearer. And so having that on the outside, so it's in front of the ink when we look at it, is the effect that I'm going for. Um, so after I get that all placed and give it a little bit of time to dry, I then put in um, my alcohol ink. So I started off with a gold metallic and um, I kind of dropped that in randomly, getting some high and low in the cup and I kind of let that dry. So part of the key is giving it drying time in between the layers so they don't all muddy up. You might end up with a little bit of that pull down at the bottom, but most of it has stayed to the side of the cup and that's giving it just like a minute to dry in between. So I use this um, dark kind of navy blue color, kind of got a purple undertone to it um, for my first color and then I came back with a little accent with some of this kind of golden yellow color. Uh, the trick is kind of not to overdo it and to keep things so when I drop this in I can see where my blue color is and so I try to hit places that that blue isn't so I can kind of fill in and then that gives me a nice random pattern on the outside and then like I said once it's all dry um, you know it's all going to dry nice and clear and you get a very nice organic um, look to this and it'll be a nice little accent in the guest room. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm sorry that I couldn't take you through step by step, but my first video failed and uh, hopefully we'll try, we'll get better at this when we try next time. Let me know um, if you do it and how your project turns out or if you have something you'd like to see.